Well, hello, travelers. And as you can probably tell by now, we have made our way into the Magic Kingdom because we are heading into Adventureland. Everybody knows D23 just concluded this past weekend, and one of the most thing, one of the things that I'm most excited for, can't even say it, I'm so excited, is a new tavern that may be coming to Adventureland over by Pirates. So come along and let's see just where they might put this tavern. Take a look around, do a little sightseeing in the Magic Kingdom, and grab one more holiday treat that I haven't tried for the Halloween that you can get all the time and not just at party nights. So come along and let's see what the Magic Kingdom and Adventureland has to offer us today. It is a Tuesday, it is a party night, and you can see the crowds during the day. I'm telling you folks, if you can come to the Magic Kingdom before a party, it is usually dead because everybody comes in at four. So rope drop the Magic Kingdom the day of the party if you are not going to a party. Hard to believe it's almost the middle of September. We don't have that much longer to Halloween. We always complain about August being too early and now it's coming up quickly to Halloween. So Adventureland is home to Swiss Family Treehouse right here. And then you come down here to Jungle Cruise. Then you come over here to Aladdin's Carpets. And of course the incredible Tiki Room and Pirates right around the corner where all the changes may be taking place. So let's go take a look. The two big announcement of D23 that caught me by surprise was first test track going back maybe going back to its original form that throwback um, outdoor driving the way it used to be which I really love and then pirates right here getting a tavern so I thought I'd come over and take a look just where you could put a tavern I'm pretty sure I think I might know where it's going but this is all guesses and you know how we like to speculate which we don't but there's a couple locations that they could go into that really intrigue me so let's take a look the first location could be right over here. It's more the stroller parking right by Tiki Rooms. The only problem with this location, if they would have to build a new building, and the Jungle Cruise is right behind this wall. So this might be a long shot, but that's a possibility. It could end up there. There is only a 15 minute wait for Pirates. I may or may not go on it. Probably not today, but that is a great wait. That always looks longer. See, they're still over, way over here. So, 15 minutes, it might be. So, as I like to call this, the Pirate Courtyard, because you got Tortuga Tavern right over there. And then you used to have Pirate League right here. Which, we're going to go take a look at that spot, because that's a heavy favorite for a lot of people for the um, tavern that will be coming. This was the official entrance of a Pirate League, which they no longer do right here, where you, where your little swashbuckler dressed up as a pirate, or piratess, whatever they may have been in there. But this building right here is probably the leading vote getter out of everybody that this could be the new pirate themed tavern right here. The only problem I have with the theory of the Pirate League building being the location of the tavern would be the size. I don't know if it could hold the amount of people that would be coming over here to entertain the tavern to see um, Peg Leg Pete back in his location at Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm just worried about the size and what they would have to do to the inside of that to make it a tavern. My number one choice would be right here, Tortuga Tavern. It already has the name and it has the infrastructure. So let's go inside and take a look. So just imagine they could take the quick service out right here and make it a bar area, um, which would be easily capable of handing a lot of people. 
They could throw some walls up, make a main entry right there because that is the main entry of Tortuga. So they can make a main entry swinging doors or big um, piratey doors right there. And then they could close in the walls and make this all seating area. And don't forget behind these doors is another seating area. So they technically could take all this for seating area right here. Even have an outdoor courtyard because those are the two doors that have more seating area right there and the restrooms are actually already built for back there. So it'd be a very easy turnover to make a pirate tavern right here. Of course, I'd hate to lose Tortuga Tavern, has some of my favorite food in the park, but I could see this easily becoming the pirate tavern for um, Peg Leg Pete the pirate to come back. Plus, you would not need a ton of re-theming to the outside of the building. Like I said, the main entry right there but you could even do a takeout window right over here, which is a possibility, you never know. But I mean, you've already got everything set up that could easily be a tavern to set up here. So if I was guessing, I would say Tortuga Tavern might be the location. It's either here or the Pirates League location, but I still think it's too small. So travelers, what are your thoughts? Where do you think they could put a pirate tavern here for Peg Leg Pete? Would it be Tortuga Tavern? Would it be the pirates right over here? Or would they build a whole new building right over in this location? It, I cannot wait to see what happens, but I will say this is in the planning stages. The concept art looks fantastic. I am very excited about this announcement. So I hope it comes to fruition and my money would be on the Tortuga Tavern location. But if you think it would be somewhere else, leave it in the comments down below. It's got the exterior, it's got all the theming already. Put some walls up to make it an air conditioned spot. So Peg Leg Pete could have a little show in there. I mean, it's already themed very well. I think, it'd be, I think it could be done. Since we're in the Magic Kingdom, let's go ahead into Frontierland and go see how Tiana's is doing right now. Looks like Tiana's Foods is coming along nicely. Actually, Tiana's Bayou Adventure. But all the, the water main and everything says employee owned Tiana's Foods up there coming along nicely it's really weird though to see it without the peak up there anymore the big stump up there but we cannot wait till this opens and of course the rumor and speculations that Pecos Bills could become Tiana's restaurant but that will be be to seen in the future I'm not too sure about that how it fits into um, of course Frontierland so it'll be an interesting one to see what happens and this is the view of Frontierland. We are heading over to Tomorrowland because there's a Halloween snack over there I've yet to try. So that's where we are heading now. But that is the view of the park right now and it is 2.30 in the afternoon. And of course another announcement is that Country Bear Jamboree will be getting a makeover for 2024. How do you guys feel about the new makeover coming to Country Bear Jamboree? Of course, leave it in the comments down below. Okay, just happened to be walking along. Look what I found here. We're out here watching the boat. It's getting ready to sail by. There it is right there. You having a great day? Awesome. I'm having a wonderful day. Thank you so much. I <laughs> uh, like that shirt. Yeah, that's a nice one. Thank you so much. Have a great day. And it looks like Big Al is out and about with his character attendant right over there. How many folks love to ride the Liberty Bell? She's getting ready to take off. I missed it. Looks like they're still loading down there, but I just love riding the Liberty Bell around. There's something you don't see every day. Peter Pan's flight, standby entry, 20 minutes. And I could probably say, that's probably a 20 minute wait. Been a long time since I've seen one of these. And of course, Fantasyland is usually the most crowded and it's usually right over at this intersection right over here. So we'll go over and take a look because we're on our way to Tomorrowland, like I said. But there's the carousel right there. Doesn't look that bad. Does not look that bad at all. Okay, who remembers when this used to be Snow White Scary Adventures? And I will tell you one thing, since it's switched to the Princess Fairy Tale Hall, 
I have not yet been back in that building. So however long that's been, I haven't stepped foot back in that building because I love Snow White's scary adventures. Check that out. Seven Dwarfs Mine Train is only a 35 minute wait. And Winnie the Pooh, the Mini Adventures of Winnie the Pooh is only a 25 minute wait. Great wait times. And we have made our way over to Tomorrowland. And once again, crowds aren't too bad. A ton of seating outside and it's naturally not too bad because the fans are running. But let's go check the Speedway. Let's see what their wait time is. Okay, so we're at the Speedway, Tomorrowland Speedway. First of all, the smell is always the smell. I will always love that smell. It'll always remind me of old time Disney. But check out that standby entrance. Five minutes for the Speedway. And it looks like we have found our another Halloween item that you can get all the time, all the way up to the 31st. It is the Apple Fritter Milkshake, a salted caramel milkshake topped with green apple whipped cream and an apple fritter for $8.49. So we're going to give that a try. Okay, Traveler, so I made my way back into Cosmic Rays after I got my apple fritter milkshake. It is a salted caramel milkshake with a green apple whipped cream and a huge apple fritter right there. So we're going to give this a try and um, see how this is. But this is a Halloween treat that is available all the way till the 31st from opening to closing of the park hour. So you don't have to be coming to the party to enjoy this. So let's give this apple fritter milkshake a try. Um, by the way, thank you for traveling around with us today. Um, I'm not sure where the pirate uh, tavern will be, but it's going to be a great addition over there to Adventureland. I still think Tortuga Tavern would be the best spot to get Peg Leg Pete back into that area. It would be fantastic, but like I said, Pirates League, that's a strong contender also. I'm just worried about the inf infrastructure. Kind of having a hard time. Um, Tortuga Tavern already, already has the bathrooms, it already has the cooking area, it already has the drink area, so it would be very easy to transition over. Okay, here we go. Let's give this a try. Ooh. That is definitely salted caramel. Let's try that whipped cream. Ooh. That is a lot tartar than I think it, thought it would be. But it really is kind of good. Not too bad. And of course, let's go with the apple fritter. Right there with some of that. We'll get everything right there. Mm. I actually thought the apple fritter would be kind of stale and hard. But it actually tastes pretty good. Really kind of fresh. Very nice apple fritter. Right there. Mine is anyway. Mm. Very nice. As always, I'm going to mix these two up. So what do you guys think? Who do you think it's going to be? What do you, what do you think of all the new announcements? Like I said, the um, Pirate Tavern and the, um, what is that thing called? Test Track. God, I can never remember. Test Track was the biggest surprises that I saw coming, that I didn't see coming, actually. The other stuff, you can kind of figure it. Um, some of them are still speculations and when we're going to give them and all that, but I really hope those two come to light and to fruition because the Tavern... And Test Track 3.0, going back sort of to the original, World of Motion, all that good stuff. I think that'd be a great addition over there. Plus it would fit a little bit better now with the nature theme at Epcot. And as always, if you're not yet a fellow traveler, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you could, give us a big thumbs up. YouTube loves when you give thumbs up and when you comment. So if you can just make a comment where you're from, say hello so we can say hello. YouTube loves that kind of stuff. And so do we. It makes it really fun to interact with our traveling family. But I'm enjoying some more of my milkshake. Yes, I'm in the Magic Kingdom. Yes, I forgot my popcorn bucket. But there's a reason I forgot my popcorn bucket today. So just stay tuned and you will see what is around. Actually, it's right around the corner. So we can go um, get Michelle a treat. 
So on this milkshake, it's good, but it's, I mean, it's just a milkshake. It's not the best that I've had. Um, the apple foam, the green apple foam was really good because it had a little tartness to it. Uh, the fritter was really good, but I don't know. It's just a regular milkshake, but at least it's a ha Halloween item you can get when the park is open. So I'm going to drink probably just a little bit more, and we're going to go get Michelle's surprise. And Travelers, I forgot to mention, I, or I may have mentioned, but I got that milkshake at Anti-Gravity's right over there but you can also I just brought it right over to Starlight Cafe nice indoor seating area nice and air-conditioned so go get your milkshake and come and sit in the AC I got them all lined up right there but this is what we have come for the Mickey Mouse skeleton premium popcorn bucket limit two per person $24 we have got to get one of these for Michelle okay travelers we are ending our day here at Magic Kingdom Ooh, the um, table of choice the garbage can is shaking there as you can see the castles behind me got Michelle check him out the new popcorn bucket right there and he's already filled with popcorn so that's why I left the refillable popcorn is this little head decking I thought it might have moved down but I'm not gonna no it doesn't move down it's stationary but that is this the popcorn bucket it came out in the Magic Kingdom today Disneyland's already had it so we're gonna take this home to Michelle. We hope you had a great time just walking around the Magic Kingdom and speculating where Peg Leg Pete's new home will be over at Adventureland. I still say Tortuga Tavern, but honestly, we never know. We're not really sure. But until next time, travelers, like we always say, travel and adventure is out there. Check this little guy out. He looks fantastic. Yeah, I know it was $24, but still. It's the holidays. I like his little pumpkin, and he has a little strap right there. It's got the little Mickey's, the Boo Mickey's on there. Fantastic little popcorn bucket. The parade's getting ready to start behind me. I gotta get out of here. <laughs>